Hello and welcome. Welcome to my channel. This is Mary of Creating with Mary and I'm glad you're able to join me on today's episode. Like you know, this channel is all about positive change, growth, healing and transformation. We want to become the best version of ourselves possible. So today I want to talk about the choice we have to let in that guest. Don't open the door. Don't welcome that guest. So what guest am I talking about? In my house, I have a fence and I have a gate. And um, sometimes when people come uh, knocking on the gate and I look through the window and I see who they are, I may decide I do not want to let them in. So I just don't respond to the call. If you do not have a gate, you may have a door that has this, you know, this peephole and you can look through to see who's knocking on your door. And based on the identification, you may decide to let them in or not. So we have that choice. We make this choice when it comes to people we know, want them to come in or we don't want them to come in. You have certain people in your life that you do not welcome regularly, you do not wish that they come around and you avoid taking their calls, letting them in through the door and when they see that they, when they knock and knock and see that no one is opening the door to them, they leave and after a few tries, they don't come back. So which guest am I referring to? Negative thoughts. So the same way these uh, individuals we recognize in our physical world, when it comes to our mental body, there are thoughts like past hurts. Oh, I've been hurt in the past. You know, I was hurt so badly. I was so pained. It was so deep. I hurt. I, I mean, I feel so betrayed. Past hurt, mistakes, regrets, guilt. Oh, you feel guilty about something you've done in the past and is eating you up, is coming now and then. So these thoughts come, like guests, all right? I recognize this pattern in my life. So I'm teaching based on my experiences. I'm not teaching theory. I'm able to recognize the pattern by myself. I was able to, you know, I, I've done quite a number of study also because I was wanting to heal past all the hurts, all the guilt, all the mistakes, all the trauma. I've encountered life a little bit and I think it's joyous. I think life is beautiful and I think I want to actively enjoy life even more. So when you allow this guest come in, they take the space that this moment that we have right now of enjoying, of experiencing this magnificent world that we have been bequeathed by God and by our ancestors. We have so much to explore and experience that those thoughts will not allow. The first thing is to recognize those thoughts. Just like you recognize those guests that you do not want. You know their names. You know their faces. So the same thing, you know the faces, you know the thoughts. Once they come in, they start coming. You may be busy at work or during a break and then the thoughts just start coming to your head. This is where the responsibility comes in. We are responsible. We can respond. We have the power to make a choice that will be in our own interest. We have the power over the thoughts. We have the power over the feelings and the emotions. But most times we feel powerless because we allow all those negative to dominate but when we start to work out that mental muscle again we will take our power back and be able to exercise it in the face of those thoughts coming in as unwanted guests unwanted guests so whatever is in the past should remain in the past so there is a caveat to this um, past issue when we want to heal when you're fully ready to heal there are times where we consciously now this is where there's a difference between the thoughts coming and you have no control they just open the door and come into your space but when we consciously open the door to where those thoughts live 
you know, they're in the past, you know this, <laughs> you know the routine. And then you open the door and you recognize them consciously and you're able to figure out, the, identify them by their names and try to journal what happened, why did this happen, what was my contribution to that hurt. So you can do that and once you're done, you, 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 know, you feel the feeling and all of that, then you close the door. That's a conscious competence, that's a conscious level. I would, I would like people to come up into this is where I am bringing myself into so to consciously recognize those thoughts and say ah, you're not welcome here <laughs> so stay right there because I, I want to enjoy this I want to enjoy this beautiful moment with family with work with passion with things that I enjoy so those those past uh, emotions and thoughts they are they are energy drainers they steal your energy of the moment and you don't have enough energy to do the things you want to do they are joy takers they steal your joy they steal your peace and they offset your balance so you don't want that to happen because in order to maintain good health and to have a healthy mental state you want to ensure that on the other side you're opening the door to joy, you're opening the door to peace, you're opening the door to compassion, you're opening the door to love. Those are guests that you want to welcome into your life, to your moment, but you want to ensure that those other guests, you do not open the door, unless it's a conscious opening, maybe with a therapist, by yourself, consciously, conscious means deliberate intentional but not allowing them to just badge in or maybe because you feel powerless they come and then they bang 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 and you open you open the door to them and you then you start feeling sad dejected depressed and unable you know you lack the energy to do the things that inspire you the things you really want to do to make a difference in this world this is a journey to healing this particular process of not opening the door to unwanted guests. I present this information to you. This is knowledge. What do you do with this knowledge? It's now up to you to now recognize, oh yes, this is true for me. This is true for me. And to start identifying those thoughts. Okay, so they see, you may still feel some sadness now and then and you're able to overcome them. Maybe true words of affirmation. So there's quite a number of strategies that complement each other on this journey of growth and healing. So you affirm yourself, I am powerful. Because those thoughts come in and they want to make you feel powerless, badging, you know, bang, 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 you have to open this door to us. And you, you open and then you feel powerless, you feel, you feel drained. Once you recognize those thoughts, you know them by their names, you know, you know them by their addresses and then you recognize them. You can start saying, I'm not letting you in. I have to do that consciously. I recognize this pattern in myself when these things were coming. And this is how I was able to overcome depression. When I trace back those particular processes that ensure that I did this healing journey, I was able to go through it completely by myself. I recognized them and I said, no, I'm not opening this door to you. Not today, not ever. So I closed the door. Eventually, once the guest sees that, Anytime I come around, they don't open the gate for me. Anytime I come around, they don't open the door for me. It's best I find another customer. People who may not have learned this strategy. And then they go away. I do not follow a particular strategy in doing this. I just recognize that this, this is what happens. Anytime I'm going down a dark place, uh, which is not healthy, which is not wholesome. I recognize the patterns and the thoughts when they start coming. So I, I consciously start saying to myself, even though I don't hurt it, I don't open that door. Don't go there. Over time, I was able to develop that muscle so stronger and stronger so so much that those thoughts know that they are not welcome anyway, and they they manage to stay put where they should stay. I'm talking about it because I'm teaching someone. I'm talking about it because it's therapy. I'm talking about it because it's helpful to share the experience with someone else. So as humans generally we will be hurt, we would make mistakes. All humans make mistakes. 
we will feel guilty about something we did or we didn't do. We will have frustrations over over different. So we have all these emotions and thoughts. But if we dwell on them, they still are joy. They still the present moment away from us, and we're not able to experience life fully in the moment that we truly have now. Because some of these steps, I didn't see any resource that broke it down in this way that I'm sharing. And I hope that I'm able to help someone's journey, you know, make it shorter for them to be able to come to that healed place in their heart and in their mind and their spirit so that they can move forward powerfully, so that they can move forward and live life more joyfully to be able to come that person that they've always dreamt about, the best version, you know, that's what we create in here, the best version of ourselves. So I hope this helps you in your journey to healing. I hope this helps you in your journey to transformation. You can be sure that on this channel, you get the tips, you get tools, you assess resources that will help you on the journey to becoming the best version of you. Now, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly click the, the subscribe button down below this video and give the video a thumbs up. You know, it helps other people assess the information when there is a quite a number of engagements on the video. So join the tribe if you haven't. It's a community here and we are all about becoming the best version of ourselves. I'll see you again soon.